Hi, uh, my name is Carlos Frias. I'm working in DCI Solutions. Uh, we are uh, distributors in, the, in distributors in Spain for Etic Telecom products, and and we are also Schneider Electric System Architecture experts. So we have uh, experience uh, in the integration of the Etic products with the Schneider PLCs, HMI, and SCADA system. In this uh, in this case, we are going to show. Uh, a demo uh, how to connect an ethic router uh, remotely by n2me connection and, uh, and in parallel uh, the router will uh, we send data uh, to the machine advisor uh, schneider solution uh, in this uh, for this demo we use an ipl uh, with the alert and display option in this case is an iplc 100 le with uh, up to uh, 4g uh, connection uh, solutions. This solution is valid for all the IPL and RAS uh, ethic routers. Uh, we use for for the LA, for the LAN uh, and uh, Ethernet connection. Uh, for the one uh, we use a uh, 3G. Uh, in this case, is V, uh, and we connect uh, remotely by VPN using the L2TP um, connection for real-time data. So. Uh, in case that uh, we use the RAS device, devices, we use the M2Me uh, solution, but in this case we use an IPL. And the local devices we uh, we have at the station, at the station is a Modicon M340, Modicon Premium, and uh, XLAN uh, Plus devices with uh, an, a nice feature uh, developed by by uh, Etic Telecom, and this is a Modbus TCP server functionality. This way. Uh, the, the 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 SHDCL devices of the Schneider of uh, Etic Telecom will uh, will give us uh, in, uh, data of the status of the communication, uh, not using uh, SNMP uh, by, by but using the Modbus TCP server. So it's a very interesting functionality we are using uh, right now in different customers with uh, with success. So the software we are going to show is, uh, is the Snow Electric uh, Machine Advisor Cloud Solution. Um, important to say that uh, we, we give here a local service in Spain uh, as we are a Spanish uh, distributor for Etic products. So, and also as we are experts in the integration of, uh, of Etic products and Schneider Electric solutions, so we can uh, help the customer in order to, uh, to get the, the proper solution uh, with these products. So um, in principle, so what we are going to show is, uh, okay, uh, we can have at the LAN part, so we can have uh, different PLCs. Uh, here, for example, we can have also so machine PLCs or HMI, and uh, we can uh, we can have machine um, with two types of uh, connectivity. You know? So one is for the real-time data, We uh, this is a, a connectable machine. So uh, we can uh, have, um, if we use a RAS device, we can have a M2Me uh, software from Etic that give us the, the remote uh, connection layer. In case that the, the customer has its own uh, VPN server or doesn't want to use this, I want to use a L2TP connection as uh, the test we are going to do now. Uh, okay, they can use an IPL. Uh, but uh, in parallel to, to get uh, this real-time data, um, we can also, uh, the, the RAS device can upload also um, information um, uh, regularly to the, to the Snare Electric Machine Advisor solution. This is a, a very interesting functionality in order to analyze the behavior of the system uh, and this is something that we are going to show in this demo because we are uh, we are showing a real uh, uh, application that we we use normally in our projects. So um, the demo will be uh, we have a water we have a pumping station with a premium PLC. Uh, before this pumping station, uh, use um, a West Thermo TD twenty three. Um, a modem uh, using a, a, a cable that uh, they have uh, installed uh, 20 years ago. And with this uh, TD23 um, uh, modem, they have a, a Modbus RTU uh, connection with the PLC and, and the, the, the baud rate was around uh, uh, 1,200 uh, 1, uh, bouts. Uh, and now uh, with the test we are doing, uh, we have uh, used uh, uh, speed, uh, the bandwidth is around uh, uh, 
512 kilobits per second. So we have multiplied by <laughs> by a height by a, by a, a high number. And also, uh, as we have Ethernet, so we can implement all the services that uh, that Ethernet give us. Is not only a Modbus RTU uh, solution. So in this case, we have this one one device here, and uh, we have. Uh, and in the second remote station, we have an M340 PLC with uh, another ETIC, SHTCL device. And in this case, uh, we have a Schneider uh, TCM uh, ESM uh, uh, switch uh, to connect by fiber optic to uh, to the um, uh, treatment water treatment station, so to the, to the main station. So uh, in this case, so what we are going to now we have to implement this and we have to analyze the status, how the um, the communication works. No, so uh, that's why um, we are using the functionality, the new functionalities that uh, all the digitalization process uh, process give us is and is to upload uh, data and is and um, and upload and um, have historical information about how. The, um, the system is working. How then uh, the how stable is the communication and and the noise we have and to analyze before uh, setting up uh, running uh, this this um, this system. No, and so we will start now with this demo. Uh, first, I will show, we will show you what we have at the machine advisor. This is the the um, the machine advisor software of Schneider. Okay, we have two uh, devices. One is not running, so that is uh, here we have the cloud. And okay, this is the the machine we are running. This is uh, this is in San Sebastian. This is in the north of Spain. So we go to the monitor part. Okay, and now we see uh, the data we are uploading uh, with the uh, IPR router. So for us, it's very important to analyze the status of the of the information so of the um, of the system before setting up. So we we upload the the speed uh, that uh, the device is, is running. So the bandwidth we have this is uh, now is 212 uh, ki uh, kilobits per second. Uh, this is the error in the last 15 minutes. There are errors in the last 24 hours and the SNR. So for us, is, this is a very important part and also the errors. We see that one station, uh, so only uh, so, uh, watching this, so we see that the Subieta station is uh, is noisy because okay uh, the SNR is lower and also we have more, more errors. So this is uh, Ibaeta station is not so, so uh, noisy. So one in, one important thing um, now this is historical data we have of the SNR uh, the um, quality of the signal and we see one in, one important thing here uh, we saw uh, in the in the test we we are doing so that uh, that the um, Subieta uh, station the the blue one uh, the quality of the signal was uh, was not so good uh, we as uh, they use also this cable with uh, 24 volts for other signals. Uh, we we see that this is this uh, we saw that this was a little bit uh, noisy and this affect us to the communication. So we propose to the customer to to change the power supply of these uh, 24 volts because uh, there were speed drives there and uh, they they can uh, affect us. And yesterday they did this change and now we can see uh, how this affect to the communication. So we see that uh, there are the difference between the, the signal quality of both stations is not so high as we saw before. So we see that the effect uh, of the, the change of this power supply uh, is uh, with a clean power supply was is, is important because we see here uh, that uh, the, the difference is not so high. Um, so um, now this is the way it works. So uh, and for me, it's very important to show uh, that uh, how we uh, we connect to the device and how easy is to connect the um, um, the um, the IPL the 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 routers to to the system. No. So in this case, we have. Uh, uh, this one, uh, this we we are connected by uh, L2TP, so we have access now. Uh, we can connect to the to the IPL. Is this one? So this is the IPL. We are connected remotely, so we can access to the real time data. So the, the most important thing here is to show that uh, how we see uh, we can configure the MQTT connection to the machine advisor. So we have only to enable. We have to set the the the, the publication period. And uh, and the variables we have to to up, we want to upload. 
all this uh, all this data is uh, directly we copy we go to the machine advisor once we create this machine in the config tool so we copy the, all these fields uh, we have only to copy and to um, and to go to the to the to the ethic router and paste and once this is done okay we have the connection already so it's it's very easy uh, and one important thing what we have already checked is that if you set you select the quality servers of service uh, to one or two um in case that there is a lot of connection uh, the ipl will start uh, 100 messages uh, in the memory of the ipl so once uh, the connection comes establish the connection so the um, the ipl will upload to the machine advisor these messages so the ipl can store uh, up to uh, 100 messages in this case we have a sampling period of uh, one minute so that means that uh, we can store uh, in the ipl 100 minutes once the connection comes uh, we have already tested that uh, is correctly uh, filled uh, the data to the uh, to the machine advisor is uh, is correct. There is no problem. Um, this is a very inter interesting functionality because uh, perhaps there are some places that uh, we don't have a stable connection, uh, a stable cellular connection. So uh, in this case, so the the IPL can buffer this information. So once we have seen how easy it is to configure uh, the connection, so we can see also uh, how to configure. Uh, the, the alert and display in order to pull the data. So we have only to uh, define the data sources. In this case, we have only the, the two uh, ethic devices that we have on both the stations. Only if we edit this, we have only to set the pulling rate and also uh, here the, the IP address uh, and the server port and the ID uh, for the system. Uh, once we have defined the, the, data, the data sources, we define the variables. Okay, and here we have defined the variables we want to pull. Uh, okay, in this case, uh, this is inter another functionality of the alert and display, and this, this we can def we can define a, an alarm trigger. Uh, okay, so in this case, uh, we have the variable. We we, we get the name, the name, uh, the communication. This is MapBus TCP, the data source, uh, the register address, uh, and the type of the of the um, of the variable. And uh, we can define, define here a trigger. So we have, we have different options. This is a very interesting functionality. And then the device will send us uh, an, email, uh, an email or a SMS in case that, uh, the, in this case, uh, when, the, um, when the level of the, of the SNR uh, is lower than uh, 12. Uh, once we have defined this, uh, so um, we can we can see here the pooling, no? So we can refresh, and these are the, the status of the variables that the uh, IPL with the alert and display option is uh, is pooling. Um, also, as we have uh, here, the um, we have here the um, the connection to all the devices. We can go to the to the first one. This is the um, uh, this is the first device. Uh, we can go to the network interfaces, and here we see the the bit rate and and the SNR. Uh, this is the Ibaeta uh, station. Uh, if we go here, uh, we see the Ibaeta SNR is twelve, uh, and that is what uh, we have here. So uh, here we can configure all the all the devices. But okay, the the, the important information for us. In order to buy, to see the behavior of the communication is are this so this is the right data that we have to upload to the machine device so we don't have to upload all the information uh, that is one of the key points uh, we talk about uh, optimization of the of the machines using this type of solutions like machine advisor so we have to define very uh, so clearly uh, the the right data data we need to upload and also we can access to the second one. This is the second. This is the 82 uh, station. This is Subieta station. And this is the SNR. Uh, this is nine. Um, okay. And this is the value we have. So uh, this was uh, all what uh, I wanted to show uh, in this demo. I think uh, perhaps I think it uh, could be interesting for, for your uh, solutions. And uh, thanks for all. Uh, if
uh, for more information, you can visit the Ethic Telecom webpage. You can visit the XDCI Solutions webpage. And uh, I recommend you to visit our, uh, our YouTube channel. Mm. And also, uh, you can contact uh, me by email. This is the email address. Uh, and uh, it's, it, I recommend you to use our, our uh, YouTube channel because uh, we have there are uh, many videos. Uh, uh, we have here the the Ethic, uh, Ethic Telecom chan channel where we have many demos of the different uh, products and how to how it works and how uh, it works normally uh, connected to Schneider Electric uh, devices. So uh, we have many videos uh, like this, uh, and also we have another videos for uh, for uh, Schneider solution. So um, uh, thank you very much, and, um, and we will uh, and we will uh, you can join us in another uh, video.